always come around. That's when them niggas hold you down. Put the day your money up and roll. It's the same day they let you go. They only loyal to you when you up. 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 They only loyal to you when you up. 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 I see them snakes in the grass. The love that I have for you, you don't have for me, so this'll never last. I wasted time on you with no time for me, and I can't make it back. The way that I care for you, you don't care for me, and you changed it fast. Damn. What is going on, y'all? How y'all doing today, man? This is Salon Boy Brick, aka Brick Delivers. This old NASA's Gamings. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. You already know what time it is right now, man. It's music video reaction time. And once again, I gotta bring, I think y'all gonna start knowing his name, man. Definitely go follow him just because, you know, just to show him love and tell him, let him know that, you know, I told y'all to go follow him. GSP Mitch with the D. <laughs> this is his third installment. This is the third request that he made. He made three requests in one post, but I wasn't able to get to all of them right away. So this is the third one. Finally been able to finally finish it while I'm doing all this other stuff, man. Also, don't hesitate to go listen to that Selena Gomez joint that I just uh that I just reacted to. And don't hesitate to go listen to that Iggy Azalea new joint that I just reacted to. I told you, man, I love music. Not just hip hop, man. We do everything over here. You know what I'm saying? We do everything over here. We always looking for the best artists and everything like that. I think I'm probably gonna jump over to Japan or China or something like that recent soon. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do some reactions to some of the some of the music artists over there and all of that. Of course I don't know the language at all. But I'm pretty sure they got some bangers that got some good vibes and some good beats and all of that. So we just going to do that. But today, I bring you Trippy Red. I know y'all see this man on the screen right there, right there. I know y'all see him on the screen. I have Trippy Red and uh, Lil Wayne. Another one. I'm mad at me. I'm mad that I ain't get to do this track yet. I listened to maybe the first two seconds of it. I barely even listen to it, so I'm not. I don't even know what to really, what to really expect. But if it's anything like how Dame Dollar and uh, Wheezy collab pfft, on some creative shit, because Trippy Red, uh, he's art. I think I don't really listen to him. I think I probably heard a few things of his on the radio if it ever hit the radio. But other than that, I never really go looking for these type of artists, man. It's not something that I would really fall into. That's like, that's like me. I don't really listen to Uzi Vert. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just. The, the way they look first I just present I go by their appearance And then that's when I go by the lyrics Unless I'm fucking somewhere And 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 Somebody playing that shit And I'm like Yo That be crazy Yo who's spitting like that Yo that's trippy red bro I gotta go look up some more shit So this is actually gonna be the first time That I'm actually fully Engaging myself Into trippy red Because somebody else recommended it to me And I actually went to go look for it myself So I'm hoping for it to be A really good track man But anything that got Weezy on it man That top five One of the top five artists In the fucking game right now Like Top five artists In the United Like hip hop He's he's one of the top five Period You know what I mean So Already know it's gonna be a banger I know it's on his part It's gonna be a banger I'm just hoping trippy Gonna come up With some creative ass shit and uh let this shit rock man so uh we gonna hop right into it man i'm sorry i i i i took off on that one and i couldn't stop but thank you guys for listening to that let's hop into the to the music video you already know and then we're gonna come back with our four category ratings you already know flow wordplay multiples punchlines let's rock man salon boy Yeah, looking back in the past, this shit was bad, I mean past tense. You get lit and burn bridges and it ain't the last ditch. You rather be mad at me than act happy and live rich. Ungrateful as shit, you must have forgot what being poor like. That's my fault, I'll let you adapt to the tour life. Shit ain't bright no more, it's more like a sore sight. You don't adore life. All right. You like expensive things, I like trips and dreams My dreams really alive, you just a part of the life Part of me, I'm regressing back to the guy who was never particularly nice This part of me ice, I try to be cordial, I feel like I course through You said you would act right, I wish I recorded you Yeah Rich people problems, mansion full of attitude I enable shit, I ain't even really mad at you 
to You were such a good girl, look what a little cash to do Oh, the wonders a little class to do Coming through the crib, you was passive like I was passing through I'm loving a little passion, boo Your birthday suit is real fashionable I'm willing to let the past just be the past with you Cause if we talking red flags, then we done passed a few And my worst choice is getting attached to you That's that multiple right there It was alright. Wasn't really expecting yeah, too much. I ain't never leave a bitch that didn't want me to stay. Told you if you get me, bitch, you better play. Keep away. I know you still be checking on a nigga like a meter maid. Heard you been stressing, looking like you ain't eating days. Gone in the heart beating, baby, we a beat away. Every time the beat it break, it's beating like a 808. Mama say we better pray. Yeah, what would Jesus say? You used to take my breath away. Now I'm trying to breathe again. I was trying to see the light. Suddenly I see the shade. And you know I treat you right. And you know I beat your brakes. And you know I eat it right. And you know I clean the plate. I was trying to lead a life. Looking for a clean escape. I don't think she thinking right. She thinking I ain't thinking straight. She think I'm trying to link tonight. I think she said she free today. Mm -hmm. Shit ain't A-OK, -okay, but it might be OK. But either way, you need to stay. Could have been stronger, but he, yo. I'm inside. I'm inside. I need you, baby. Weezy top five, yo. Can't nobody take that away from you. Overall on that track, man, I got to give that one a two out of four, man. It was a good track. It wasn't one of the best ones and none of that. I mean, maybe for me it wasn't the, it was the beat. But then also, remember, when you're doing songs, especially if it's your song, and you know your lyrics aren't up there like that, put the nigga in the front that's going to grab everybody's attention and have them listen to the whole track. That's the smartest thing to do. But sometimes most people, what they do is they'll put themselves in there, even though they know that they're not that good, but people are going to listen because they know the person that's coming up after them is worth listening to. That's another smart thing. I learned that when I was recording a lot, man. We had a few people in our group that was corny, and every time we put them uh, in the beginning of every track, that track never had traction because as soon as somebody listened to them and they be like, oh, no, boom, they don't even want to listen to it no more. So we started putting a few of the hot people in the front and then we put them in the middle and then that's when we kill it off with the with our strongest person at the back. And then we just kind of just versatile and switch it up that way. And once we started doing that, we was gaining traction because niggas going to listen to that first verse and be like, yo, I want to listen to more. They listen to the second one like, ah, oh, that joint was all right. I'm going to listen to the third person and see if they're going to bang it out. So it always works that way, you know. Not 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 always, but it works the majority of that way. If you actually put the person that's actually going to draw the attention of the crowd and keep them listening in the front. Now, after they listen to that shit, now they might be like, "Now nah, I'm just going to keep listening to Wayne, Wayne part and Trippy. Fuck that. I mean, as soon as the hook go off, I'm turning it off. That's it. I'm not about to <laughs> keep on going. So that's why sometimes it's smart also to have the corny rapper in the front and then have the anticipation of the best rapper in the back. So it, it kind of works. It all depends on you, your vibe, your beat, whatever it is that you're doing. But overall, man, I give this one a two out of four. Um, Flow-wise, I would give it a six. Um, the flow was all right. The flow was all right, man. For for a very unique beat, it was a unique beat. You know, it's not like a beat. It's not one of those beats that you just you know you 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 um that a lot of people are really rapping to. It was one of those beats that you that you'll hear and um and yeah, man. It, it, most people are gonna run over it, and not people, not many, not many people are actually gonna actually wanna wanna do the track. But they did it, and um 
Yeah, I wasn't really feeling it too much, so I'm going to give it a six. I wasn't really feeling the flow like that. Wordplay, Wheezy hit me with that wordplay in the beginning. I had to laugh on that, John, man. It keep checking up on a nigga like a meter maid. That shit crazy. Like, shit like that. Little simple bars like that that have the metaphors and the punchlines are so crazy, man. So I'm going to have to give this nigga, like, uh, and he had a few other ones, but it wasn't as strong as I think it could have been. Uh, Trippy Red had, like, one or two that was R, but it wasn't really anything that, you know, it was an eye-opener for me. So I'm going to give that one a six also. So we're talking two sixes right now. Um, multiples, multiples, Trippy definitely did hit a lot of multiples in that shit, man. I'm going to give them a seven. I'm going to give them a, a, a seven. It was a lot of N-words, but in the sense, like, if you have two bars, he's breaking them up into rhyme here, rhyme here, that's one bar. Then rhyme here, rhyme here, that's two bars. But he's rhyming all four of those sentences or paragraphs, paragraphs within that bar, because you can't really even call them paragraphs. It's like maybe, like, five words, then the end rhyme, word that rhymes in the end, and then another five words, and then another uh, word that rhymes in the end, and that's your first bar right there. That's off the four beat count, and then that's when you drop another one with a four beat count with the same thing, a rhyme and a rhyme, put them together. So you having like four to five rhymes within each each two bars and all of that. So I'm gonna give them a seven on that one, six six seven, and then the punchlines. I'm gonna give that one. I'm gonna give that one a seven. I mean, I, I'm 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 really pushing my luck with that one. I really think I should have gave him a six, but I'm giving him a seven out of respect that Trippy Red was saying some stuff that I didn't, that maybe I didn't catch or it went over my head. Little Wayne's was all right in the beginning, but then that's when he started just kind of slacking off just a little bit at the end. So um, I wasn't really feeling it as much as I think that I probably should have, man. The way I anticipated it and talked and I was all hype about it. Well, I mean, I was hype for Wheezy. I wasn't really hype for Trip because I don't really know this man like that. And I don't know his, his bar scheme. So, you know, I'm already expecting it to be bummy or corny and shit like that. So that's just how it is all the time. I mean, but it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't to an extent, but it wasn't good either. So uh, I'm going to give that one a seven. We're talking two sevens. That's 14. We're talking two sixes. That's 12. Put them together. You get 26 out of 40, man. 26 out of 40. Trippy Red featuring Lil Wayne. I'm mad at me, man. You already know how it go, man. I am your whole Salon Boy Brick, aka A Brick Deliverances. Oh, Nasus Gamings, man. Look, man. A boy, your boy been hitting the gym like crazy. Hold on. See, look. Oh, shit, man. It's all this sweat. You know what it's from? Before I hop on here, every day, 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, one minute, uh, 30 second planks, two sets of those, not plank like, like push-up planks, so you're just sitting there like this, 30 seconds, falling back, then you're doing another 30 seconds, and then you're knocking out your 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, every morning, every night. Do those things, and I guarantee you'll definitely start to see results. The only thing I gotta bring down is my gut, man, because I, I I I intake a lot more calories than I'm not than I'm supposed to. But it is what it is. But yeah, your boy, man, you know, definitely staying fit, st uh, staying healthy, staying wonderful, man. And I appreciate you guys for being here to help me with this, Mitch. I appreciate you, man. Definitely keep uh, throwing some more vibes my way, man. I'll definitely uh, listen to them. You know me, man. I love being able to communicate with you guys, be able to talk about music, because I love that shit, man. I love that shit on every genre, every spectrum, and that's never going to change, you know. So let's rock out. Let's do what we got to do, man. Salon Boy Brick, a.k.a. Brick Delivers this. Oh, Nasus Gamings, man. Please do not forget to dream big, play hard, live good, man. You already know. Stay blessed, stay humble, stay focused, man. All right? So do your thing. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and spread the motherfucking word, all right? Come on, y'all. Peace.